YouTube, it's me Raymond Freeman here, and I'm showing you the booting into Android OS onto my Optiplex 620. Now I want to show you that this is completely legit legitimate and that I am in the BIOS right now. As you can see, it's showing post command or post lights, which means it's still in the BIOS. Um, but I will press F1 now to boot into it and as you can see we have Android running right now I'm just gonna run it without installation and while that boots up I will show you the mod I did to my Optiplex now before I tell you about the mod I want to explain why I did this mod the reason I did this mod is that the, these Optiplex computers have a problem with overheating in the capacitors bulging and this is a pretty old computer and motherboards normally last three to five years so I went, took the precaution to make it last longer so what I did was added some more fans well and switched the fan for the fan I switched was the fan up front I switched it to an exhaust so it pulls air from the heat sink so it blows it out the mesh thing as you can see it's booting showing the Android logo there I'll show you it in a second um but the three fans I put three fans in the back there's one up top right under the power supply there's one that's right above the expansion base and there's like a 60 millimeter just sitting in front of the base on the actual bottom of the computer case so that way cold air is pulling in constantly and it this works even better with the um actual side panel over there on so, and since I've done this mod, I have not had any problems. The fan has stayed at idle. The actual um, other fan I put right here to help pull push air to this fan to get it all out um, is actually ran to this fan. So, and this can actually go up still even with this pulling power, but um, it has not gone above idle. It stayed there. I even used um, uh, what's it called speed fan to raise it and like when I set it to auto it would kept staying at like 15% uh, fan power which is like the minimum before it cuts off so there's my little laptop hard drive that I would use my from a friend gave me his name's Tejeron but uh that's a laptop hard drive that I used the Xbox transfer cable to install Windows on because the RAM I, for some reason when I had 1.5 gig gigs of RAM I could not install a new Windows. It would not boot from the disk. Every time I did, there would be some kind of problem. But I'm running 2 gigs of RAM right now. It's DDR2. Still have the same processor, 2.8 gigahertz. And uh, it's done. I'll show it to you in a second. But um, yeah. I'm going to switch out the hard drive later and to my big hard drive right here. And I'm going to install Windows on this. So, 380 gigabytes of epic Android games. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, I will go ahead and show you guys running Android OS on here. Now, one thing I want to point out is because I've already loaded this a couple of times. That every once, like once every 30 seconds to a minute, the mouse will lag out. Like, I'll move it, and then it'll stop, and then it'll go to it, and then it works perfectly fine. And I ran hill climb racing on this <clears throat> the first time I loaded it, but I haven't tried any 3D games. But I will post another video of me trying to play a game Nova. I don't know if it'll work. I have no idea <laughs> if it will work. I will try it. If it does, yay. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. But I will show a video of me playing Nova and a video of me playing something else. So, yeah. I will wipe that hard drive. It does have XP 64 bit. But having full Android on a computer is pretty awesome. Because imagine playing Android games on an i7. Well, mine's not an i7, obviously, but an i7, 4970K, 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM, and a Titan. A Titan Z. Let's just say a Titan Z, okay? Just imagine what your frame rate will be for games. You, oh, and one thing to point out when you do this, if you're doing this, even if you're doing this on a lab, laptop, 
um, if you have Wi-Fi, I don't know if it works for Wi-Fi like on laptops, but I'm running off of Ethernet, so it'll say like you can't connect to Wi-Fi, so you, I just click skip and it still works, it still gets service, so I gotta send it to my account real quick, I'm gonna set the phone down, you guys will still be able to hear me, but... Um, I think I spelled all that right. Alright, it's signing me in. I don't know why, but every when it launches, it says that a lot. Let me in, check all that. Oh, you made me my name. Creepy! I'm just kidding. Alright. It's loading up the launcher. And ta-da! Look at this. Look at this. Hopefully it just like that. Sometimes it'll lag out for a couple seconds, like when it's trying to tell you what's happening. There we go. Here, I found a way to show you guys. Alright, I'm going to click this, so just watch the mouse, if you can see it. See? It just it lags out. It looks slow. And I was moving the mouse like crazy. Look, some Gmail messages. So, yeah. As you can see, it works amazingly. Let's go to settings and I want to see how much storage I have. Look at that. Giga storage. That's pump. <laughs> um, but as you can see, it runs pretty amazingly. 100% battery unknown. <laughs> when you click on Bluetooth, it'll act like it's coming on and just cut off. Same thing with Wi Fi. They both just cut back off. Well, I thought it might take a minute. See, it says it Wi Fi's on, but to see available networks, turn Wi Fi on. So, I don't know, Wi Fi might work on t laptops. But, mm -hmm. As you can see, it works. I have signed in to the Play Store. Play Store works, everything works perfectly fine. I don't know if I if I have the YouTube app on here. Oh, I do. And the keyboard is fully functional. Now some games may not support. Okay, or, I don't. Okay. Um, well, YouTube is fully functional. It's brought up my account. Epic picture of me and my Camaro, but YouTube does work. So let's look up something. Gang. I wonder when's the last time someone looked that song up. God, it's been a while. And it does work with your audio. I don't know if headphone. I don't know if you can hear that because the speaker on there. But headphones do work. From the headphone jack. Great. Right. There. So we know YouTube works. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I will post a video of me trying to play games like Nova and stuff like that on my computer. And I will post a video of me installing this on my hard, hard drive in my little sister's chair. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Tell me anything else you want to see. Oh, by the way, this is Android 4.3 show you that now but and also another thing to point out when you press your power button it brings up your power settings which I think is awesome and then there's a little if you go to back to settings power off you can click that and it'll turn yeah it'll turn it off um wait I wonder if there's a system update okay um anyways Thank you guys for watching. I will post a video of me playing the game. I don't know how many times I've said that. I'm sorry. But comment, like, subscribe. It really helps my channel. I am a growing YouTuber. I want to be one of those people who has like a million subscribers. <laughs> but um, if there's anything that you want me to you want me to show you guys, or there's something you can't figure out in the game, or if you want to figure out how to do this for your computer. Just put, put it down in the comments below. I will show you. So have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Epic YouTuber.
leaving.